welcome back to Bennett's Garage. In this video, I will show you how I purchased a 2006 Pontiac Solstice out of a field, as you can see. It did not start. It did not run. I knew nothing about it. Quite literally, gave the guy a wad of cash and loaded up on the trailer and took it to go try to find some keys and a key fob. Had to get it programmed. Only to find out that even after replacing the battery, it still didn't start. And we had other issues arise that we needed to address before we could try to flip the car. Alright, we have a 06 Pontiac Solstice. And the anti-theft device keeps popping up. You come in, you see the miles, everything works fine there. Put the key in. Now this is the only key that I got. You go to start it, put the clutch in. Clutch in. You see that symbol right there? Yeah, it won't let it start. Nothing. I try and then the gauges go up and down. But nothing. No radio. You come down here. When I do it, you can actually hear it clicking. So you know the uh, relay is working. I'm at this point confused because the light doesn't turn off. So you can't wait to reset or relearn the system because it should be flashing to relearn. You know, you have to flash for 10 minutes with the key on. Well, this is solid. So, I'm not sure if it's going to be able to relearn. I've already tried waiting 10, 12, 15 minutes uh, in, that, in, in that order to no avail. It just will not turn off. And the relearn procedure is you wait 10 minutes, wait till the light turns off, go ahead. Try it again, then a third time, then it should learn. But the light never goes off. This uh, BCM, as you remember, was significantly underwater. You can actually see the water line right there. And the back of it, you have this pin right there that's been uh, broken off. So with that pin broken, broken off, I have to go into the wire loom down here. Of course, my camera's not flashing that on. Go into this big wire loom figure out which pin it is on here and then try to pick it out just get a really small metal pick and see if I can pick it out and while I'm in there I can see green I'm gonna try to clean up some of the other contamination that I see now this is my pick of choice I need to use some regular old uh, electrical cleaner I went in there and I looked in. I don't actually see a connector for that one. So I could be lucky enough that that didn't do anything, but why would they put a pin here? Uh, again, this was also used in the Chevy Cobalt and a couple of the cars like an HHR. So it could be a Cobalt connection, not really a Solstice connection. So. I'm just going to start cleaning it up and see what happens. Alright, so to put this thing back in, this great big one is the one I had to clean up yesterday. And I got all this crap off of it from cleaning it next week still. It's still falling out, but the connections look a whole lot better today than it did yesterday. That one goes in first, and then from there... That's the next one. That's on the front. And then these two just clip in. So I can't do it while holding the phone. So I'm going to have to put it down. All right. My box has finally showed up. So I can uh, fix the BCM. I might have to get the, the keys reprogrammed if I can't do it by myself. Usually GM, you just... Turn the key, wait 10 minutes, turn it off. Turn the key on, wait 10 minutes, turn it off. 
do that three times and pretty much your keys reprogram. So let's see what this thing looks like. Hold on one second. All right, so uh, nationwide auto recycling. I paid 120 bucks for it, yada, yada, yada. But, come on. Oh, she's really in there. Don't think I need that sticker. However, man, this thing looks incredibly good compared to yeah, that versus this. Yep, I think it's gonna work great. Now all I gotta do is take my seven millimeter Connect it in the back here first, and then mount it on my three tabs, seven millimeter, the front one seven millimeter, and these just clamp in. That quick, that easy. So I noticed on the old one, there's a lot of different fuses that are in this, and it's not in that. So looking here, number 18, you get on 18, it's empty. Uh, 21, 22 spare and empty uh, another one was like number 24 i think no uh, 28 28 empty so this one had a lot of fuses in it didn't did not need to be there but it's in now i gotta go steal a battery out of another vehicle that i been trying to fix which is this one. So once I get my battery back out of it. Come on, baby. There we go. Steal my battery back out. I can uh, try and see if I can get this other one programmed and start it up. Fingers crossed. All right, so the new box is in. My first attempt to start. Let's see what we get here. My lock key is still on and it's not blinking. This is not a good sign. Nothing. I thought for sure that the issue was in the BCM because I can't reprogram the key unless that right there is flashing. Then you turn the key on and wait till it stops flashing for 20 minutes. I'm sorry, 10 minutes. Do that three times and it programs the key. However, it's not flashing. So, I have nothing. Back to the drawing board. All right, so I finally figured out what the hell is going on with this car. When I tore out the old one, I really noticed that some of these pins have, I mean, they're just really, really bad. Nothing was connecting correctly. So when I put in the new BCM, I still, weren't, I still was not getting connectivity because the wire itself these little plugs were bad in the wiring loom, not allowing connectivity. Four of these were bad, and it was on the back side back here in that big one. So because four of these were, little plugs on the inside were bad, it was causing the issue of not starting. Um, yeah, you can see another one. So yeah, fix that issue. And now, what we have, make sure I got my key on me. Look at that. 
that's the sight for sore eyes. Running car. So we are good there. We now start, I can start cleaning it up for sale. And I think uh, I hit a home run for what I paid for it, considering what's what we've done to it. Uh, a couple hours of labor, um, <laughs> $30 in pin sets. Yeah, not bad. All right, now comes the cleaning aspect of the job. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the, the new lens cleaner and do my headlights. They are definitely a little frosted. And basically you just take some Rick Lord Windex, spray them on, take some 800 grit sandpaper, and then sand it all off. Go from 800 to 1500, and then use a special polish for plastic. It's that easy. All right, there's my first pass with 800 grit compared to nothing on it, untouched. So now I'm gonna switch over to 1500 grit and get that cleaned up a little bit better. That was my second pass with 1500 grit. My next one's gonna be 3000 grit, again, compared to before and after. And next one I'm going with 3000. All right, that was 3000 grit, and you're beginning to see the cloudiness is coming back off. Again, compared. So now I'm gonna use the plastic polish and bring it all the way back to life. All right, that one is now done. You can see it's back to, well, looking complete. All right, there we go. Definitely makes a mess, but just as clean and clear, worthwhile. And there we have it. She is ready for sale. All polished up, headlights renewed, buffed, waxed, tires cleaned, good tread. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Hopefully, we'll get a quick, a quick sale.